With the recent death of Freddie Gray by the hands of police officers, the city of Baltimore, Maryland is up in arms and chaos has spread throughout their downtown area, resembling riots of the 50s and 60s. Hello everyone, I'm Elijah Thomas. And I'm Shelby Kendrick and welcome to the Southeastern Jungle Air Newscast. We have been witnessing more and more unarmed black men murdered in communities all across America by police officers. During this crucial time here at Southeastern, we hope and pray that things return back to normal. In Southeastern News, we're hosting a May 9th Beautification Day in partnership with the Hands Farm Group. The event is expecting 1,500 residents and non-residents to be in attendance. The school is inviting everyone to attend and participate. We have Zari Gray at the scene with more. Zari Gray, what do you have for us? May 9th is a big day for Southeastern. Mr. Elo, can you tell us a little more about that day? May 9th is our first community service project that we're going to be performing here at Southeastern High School. Um, Hans Farms, Hans Woodland, is in charge of planning and they actually own a lot of the property here within this particular zip code, 48214. What we're going to do as a school is to come out and show out how much we support this particular community. By planting trees and helping with the beautification, Hans Farm is going to also then partner with Southeastern so that we can actually work on our project-based learning curriculum. Earlier this school year, you guys had the opportunity to work with Ms. Grogan inside of her classroom and she actually took you around the building and she charged you guys with a question and said, what would you do with the vacant land? So many of you had great projects. So now we took that and we had the opportunity to present those things to Hans Farms. And here we are with May 9th. Um, they're actually going to be planting 5,000 trees across the street from the football field. So we want everyone to come out and join us and participate. This is going to be an open house for us, but a great community service project for 48214-3030. Thank you, Ms. Dillon, for the great information. I'm sorry, Gray. Now back to you. It looks like that's going to be a wonderful event. Great job, Zaria, with that report. In entertainment, the school hosted its Grammy Awards. Our student ambassadors opened the show with a live, energized performance. They did an excellent job, and students were surprised by the live performances by our staff. And more news. We are seeing out four of our special jungler students. Janice and Diamond, what do you have for us? I am Zarya Kerr reporting for Southeastern News. Here are some of our student athletes with a 3.0 or higher. Fellas, how did you do it? Well, all y'all do is just work hard and study, like, because after school, after school I got practice, so I don't have time to do my homework, but soon I get home, all I do is just go straight to my room and do my homework, and then I get in the shower, eat, and back to school for tomorrow. Yeah, at the, at the beginning of the season, we had study hall after school before practice, so we can get our so we can keep our grades right and above 3.0. That was our goal to keep it above 3.0. That was our average. And that's what we did. Hello, Jungler family. I'm Diamond Hill, standing here with Daquan Tillman, the recent winner of the Army Scholarship Award. Daquan, tell us how much money you received and what are your plans. Well, I received $110,000 in tuition and scholarship to go to any college I want to in the state of Michigan. And once I finish my four years in the Army, you know, I'm going to go to uh, Michigan State University. You know, that's my that's one of my big colleges. You know, I'm going to go there. Great. Diamond Hill reporting. Back to you, Shelby and Elijah. On May 20th, Next Potato Chips will be on the school's campus to throw a concert promoting positive behavior and love amongst our junglier family. It'll be a fun event. They're also presenting a competition where students who submit a five-minute video of them participating in a community event have a chance to win $500. As we move close to the end of the year, and as the weather improves, there will be more outside activities. So please, jungleers, make sure you remain safe and cool. I'm Elijah Thomas. And I'm Shelby Kindred. Reporting for the Southeastern Junglier Podcast News, this has been an exciting experience. Until next time, take care.